What if I told you that the greatest architectural marvels ever built were not the result of modern technology or advanced machinery, but the handiwork of ancient civilizations? Yes, I'm talking about the pyramids. These colossal structures, particularly the Egyptian pyramids, have confounded historians and archaeologists for centuries. Yet, their origin, purpose and construction methods remain shrouded in mystery. Today, we'll embark on a journey through time, from the discovery of these enigmatic structures to the latest theories surrounding their construction. Our story begins in the early 17th century, when European explorers first set foot in Egypt. Their eyes widened in awe as they beheld the pyramids, these giant geometric anomalies rising starkly from the desert sand. Yet, it wasn't until the 19th century that serious scientific investigations began, spearheaded by the likes of Flinders Petrie, an English Egyptologist. His meticulous measurements and observations of the Giza pyramids laid the foundation for modern Egyptology. Moving into the 20th century, a slew of theories emerged regarding the construction of the pyramids. The most popular one suggested that these structures were built by thousands of slaves who dragged and lifted the heavy stones into place. However, this theory has been largely debunked, as evidence suggests that the workers were skilled laborers, not slaves. Another theory posits that the ancient Egyptians used a system of ramps to move the stones, yet the sheer angle and length of such ramps make this theory problematic. It would require a ramp of an almost impossible length to maintain a manageable slope for dragging the stones. A more recent theory, proposed in the early 21st century, suggests that the blocks were not carved but were instead cast or molded using a kind of limestone concrete. This theory, although controversial, is supported by some evidence, including the irregular shapes of the stones and the presence of tiny air bubbles, which are characteristic of cast materials. The latest theory, and perhaps the most intriguing, suggests that the ancient Egyptians might have used water to transport the blocks. This theory, proposed by Dutch physicist Merlin de Smet, posits that the Egyptians could have floated the blocks along artificial waterways or canals right up to the pyramid sites. To summarize, we've journeyed from the initial awestruck discovery of the pyramids by early European explorers through a multitude of theories about their construction. We've debunked the myth of slave labor, pondered the impracticality of massive ramps, contemplated the possibility of cast stones and even considered the use of waterways for transportation. Yet, despite centuries of investigation, the mystery persists. How exactly were these ancient wonders built? The answer remains elusive, lost perhaps in the sands of time. Remember, history is not just about the past, it's about the present and the future too. The pyramids stand as a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. They challenge us to question, to explore, and to never stop learning. Because, in the end, it's not the destination, but the journey that truly matters. And what a fascinating journey it has been, unraveling the secrets of these ancient wonders. Until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring.